Daimler says it has no idea where North Korean leader Kim Jong-un got his armored Mercedes limousines, adding it has no business dealings with the North. Kim has raised eyebrows by using Daimler-branded stretch limousines at several very high-profile summits, including his meeting this week with Russian President Vladimir Putin and both of his earlier summits with President Donald Trump. Kim's first trip to Russia came about two months after his second summit with President Donald Trump failed because of disputes over U.S.-led sanctions on the North. The sale of luxury goods, including limousines, is banned under U. N. Sanctions intended to put pressure on North Korea to abandon its nuclear weapons, Kim's two limos were noted upon when he arrived at Vladivostok Station, a Mercedes Maybach S600 Pullman Guard and a Mercedes Maybach S62. He is believed to have also used the S600 Pullman Guard for his summits with Trump in Singapore in June last year and in Hanoi in February. The vehicles likely cost more than $1 million each when they were purchased, according to Business Insider. We have absolutely no idea how those vehicles were delivered to North Korea, Daimler spokeswoman Silk Malkert said in a written response to an Associated Press report Wednesday on the limousines. For Daimler, the correct export of products in conformance with the law is a fundamental principle of responsible entrepreneurial activity. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un arrives for a wreath-laying ceremony at a Navy memorial in Vladivostok, Russia April 26, 2019. Shamil Jumatov Reuters The S600 Pullman Guard is 21 feet long and has a 517 horsepower, 5.5 liter, bi-turbo V12 engine, Business Insider notes. The Maybach S62, which is 20 feet long, was introduced in 2002 as a rival to the Rolls-Royce Phantom, it added. Daimler, based in Stuttgart, Germany, is one of the world's biggest and more prestigious automobile companies. It is one of the biggest providers of high-end passenger cars and the world's largest producer of trucks above 6 tons. North Korea and its homepage, the multinational giant boasts of selling vehicles and services in nearly all the countries of the world and of having production facilities in Europe, North and South America, Asia and Africa. North Korea, however, isn't one of its official customers. Our company has had no business connections with North Korea for far more than 15 years now and strictly complies with the EU. And U.S. embargoes, she said. To prevent deliveries to North Korea and to any of its embassies worldwide, Daimler has implemented a comprehensive export control process. Sales of vehicles by third parties, especially of used vehicles, are beyond our control and responsibility. Kim's ability to procure the limousines anyway is a good example of how porous the international sanctions tend to be. According to Daimler, the Mercedes-Benz Pullman limousines offer their passengers a superbly appointed setting for discreet meetings. The version used by Kim is believed to be equipped with all the key communications and entertainment systems so that, according to a company description of the car, its occupants can remain fully in touch with the rest of the world while enjoying the luxury and comfort of their own very special place in it. Let's block ads. Why?